Some days you need more than one beer. Those days um, typically are any day that ends in Y. But today especially, Volga from Ladabosch in France. Um, I just finished the one from Case. Started to get a little bit more of the um, chili come through, uh, but not a lot. Anyway, I like what Ladabosch do. They've always got pretty funky artwork on there. Uh, this one's only 5% alcohol, and it's pale ale. Um, yeah, it's come direct. Like, uh, I think it's only pretty fresh, this one, so let's just see. Uh, golden, reasonably clear gold color. On the nose, uh, you get some hops there. Get some malt. A uh, li little bit um, of oxidation notes, but you're going to get that in Australia. There's no way to really get it here quicker than about six or eight weeks. Unless you put it on an aeroplane, which is, uh, I discovered today, hideously expensive. Um, oh, that's really nice. Lovely biscuity malt character. Like really, um, so sort of like a Anzac cookies or something like that. Um, plenty of plenty of um, plenty of malt there. You got some uh, citrus notes from the hops. Medium sweet uh, malt up front. Medium body, nice dry finish. Bitterness is medium firm, uh, and you get that sort of uh, grapefruit citrus note from the hops. Carbonation is medium low. Uh, lends a little bit of sweetness through to, uh, through the back there, prevents it being astringent or anything like that. It's actually another very well balanced beer from our French brewery. So, um, yeah, if Jason, if you're watching this, cheers for bringing these guys in.